Right, and we are now at 8 out of 10. Cats. Wait, no, deliveries. Luxembourg. Let's try our luck. External contracts. What do we have from Luxembourg? Preferably something that isn't actually meats masquerading as Luxembourg. No, once again, see, burn. Ah, oh, great. Yeah, except that it's actually from Metz and not Luxembourg. It's so annoying. All right, let's see. Once again, Luxembourg was disappointing in trying to search for jobs. <laughs> let's try Brussels because it's at least a lot bigger and has a lot more options of places to go from. Can we find something to... Preferably Geneva would be nice. Um, I should actually just search here, shouldn't I? There we go, Gen. Nope, Copenhagen and Genoa, never mind. Bern? Nope, Berlin. All right, Zurich? No, okay, we're screwed. Nothing even from Brussels. That's absurd. Well, we can try quick traveling to Liege instead and see whether or not we can get lucky from there. <laughs> we're just rolling the dice. We're playing delivery roulette currently Geneva no Bern no Zurich hey there's one to Zurich okay you know what that's fine <laughs> I am getting fed up with this particular thing come on there's a job to do it just makes no sense to me that they did this event and didn't have specific types right. of delivery like, there should be themed things from Switzerland, or Turn like right. del making deliveries of things that go to Switzerland, perhaps. I don't know what. I don't even know what Switzerland normally exports, but chocolate, probably. <laughs> so, <laughs> deliver cocoa a to, a to Switzerland, and then take deliveries f of chocolate from Switzerland. There you go, sorted. Make the trailers look like Toblerones, I don't know. Make it interesting somehow. Like, basically, the only way to guarantee getting the deliveries would be... Like, I could have quick-traveled, instead of quick-traveling from somewhere looking for a delivery to Switzerland, what I should have done is just jumped to Switzerland and then just seen what I could get from there. Go straight. It's just their contract system is pretty broken in general. It's the same problem we get with every single event that doesn't have specific things, uh, unless it's a, one of the seasonal ones where they add in like the gifts and stuff. And even then it's six, one half the other, whether or not you get um, deliveries that you actually want to places that you want to go to. I still firmly believe that there should be a way of choosing contracts that's much more like the previous ETS method where you would select your the city that you are in you would select the destination and it will give you a list of deliveries and you can then choose which cargo you want to take because then that have much more control over it too in terms of specific events and stuff like this and you could just always have some low value cargoes that will always be available between any two cities there should always be the ability to have some low value cargoes provided through the external contract system but it would still be nice if you actually selected i want to go here from here and it gave you the options anyway rent over for now I probably should have just slept away the night as well, so I wouldn't be driving in the early hours of the morning. Never mind.
Ah, the moon is in a different phase now, being Saturday. It's now in a crescent moon. That's interesting, because it was a half moon on Thursday. So, does that mean it'll be a new moon Sunday morning? And then it starts over again? So I guess full moon would be like Tuesday or something? Interesting, because there isn't like an in-game calendar per se. It's just week by week. It's not like Saturday the 1st of whatever, it's just Saturday. But yeah, the moon does seem to observe different phases, so that's good. I didn't actually read the patch notes very well at the time when they were adding that in. They were talking about how they did work on the skybox and specifically called out the night sky and the moon. But I can't remember what changes they were actually making, but that's cool that it does go through different phases. Keep left. Just much quicker than normal. <laughs>
Uh, Strasbourg again, which is where we took our second delivery, I think. So we've all just been kind of hanging around the same part of the continent, really. We've retraced our steps an awful lot, unfortunately. I was hoping to get a little bit more variety. But there's only so many ways you can go to or from Switzerland. Especially when they don't want to give you deliveries to certain places, it seems. certainly where we feel very keenly the 90k an hour limit sometimes but then we've been doing heavy deliveries and not really been able to go much faster than that anyway it was at least more interesting going to different countries again and we got to explore some extra roads not only through Switzerland but also through Austria a little bit of extra Balkan exploration for our brief sojourn into Slovenia would it be nice to have more deliveries going to the Balkans to be honest uh, if I'd had one like to Croatia from Switzerland would it be nice as it is we really need to go back there and explore around a little bit more at some point I need to figure out what I want to do, kind of higher priority, do I revisit the Balkans, do I hover off the re-exploration of the reworked areas, don't know. I feel the DLC areas are more interesting. Exit right. Okay, border crossing time. And this is actually quite convenient because we came out this border direction before on our way to Strasbourg on that earlier delivery, but we haven't been back in again yet from this direction, so we do get to explore the other side of the split roads, which is nice. Now I guess we just follow this guy. Kind of tempted to cut in front of him, to be honest. But I could have gone down to the next avenue instead. Let's just let's just do this. Ah, oh, I could have gone to the one on the right. That's fine. Just barge in. Couldn't quite get through the barrier before it shut. Ooh, what did I hit there? What did I hit? Huh? I didn't notice myself hitting anything there. I think there might have been a bit of jutting out geometry or something. So I'm not sure, like it wasn't trailer damage. So I thought that my trailer had gotten stuck on something. But apparently it was truck damage. But I wasn't right next to anything. Who knows? The game's always finding new and innovative ways of making me take damage, so shouldn't be surprised. Keep left. Interesting little river harbor area down there. It's like a okay. That just didn't want to turn there. Having all of the issues. Not sure what's up at the moment. Yeah, tried to turn it, just went straight on. Weird. Maybe I do need a new controller. 
I have noticed the dead zone getting pretty bad. Maybe the stick's just not responding sometimes too. That would explain a few times. Like, I know I'm pretty bad at this, but... That would explain some of the times I've had issues in Forza as well, actually. <laughs> nice river. Very nice. Oh, I like it through here. Right, through to Zurich for one last time. At least for now. Hidden Q. Keep left, you say? Well, soon. <laughs> when I'm able to. There we go. Once again, we don't get the chance to take the road that goes north around Zurich. We're going right in again. We just haven't had any deliveries to the depot to the north of town. Or indeed the one in the middle of town. It's all been to the south. interesting to see can I get a delivery from Zurich to Geneva and can it maybe be one from a different depot from where I've been to and from all the damn time keep right and then turn right turn right keep left Alright, once again, back to the depot over here. <laughs> Remember me? I'm back. This is where it ends. Where do you need it? Too bad. Oh, honestly, once again, that probably wouldn't be that bad, because I just have to turn around to the left and then reverse slightly. Perfect. Okay, 9 out of 10. One remaining. Juice concentrate delivered. No, we did take some trailer damage, apparently. There we have it. Is there anything to Geneva? There is. Yeah, say less. I mean, I'm here and everything anyway. So this is not a delivery that we have to do at all. This is purely optional content, essentially. Um, this is just because I would like to go to Geneva, and rather than just quick travelling there, I can at least take a delivery. And... Let's go. See how we go. Got an excuse to go there, at least. I would have liked to get a delivery from the cathode depot in the centre of town, just to have a, a reason to go there. Turn left. But, can't always get what we want, especially when it comes to deliveries in this game. Then we very rarely get what we want. <laughs> it's a notable event whenever we do actually get something that's convenient for us. So a short hop down the road should only take, well, what, 10 minutes? Something like that? This should be on pretty much main roads the whole way, we'll be speeding the whole way, we'll be cutting corners wherever possible. So that 3 hours and 50 should come down appreciably. And then we'll see what we get from Geneva. So from that part of the country I suspect that if we can get a delivery from there to Barcelona that's probably going to be the shortest that we can get to a different country. Otherwise, it would probably be have to go up to, yeah, say, Luxembourg would be hilarious. If I if there's one to Luxembourg, I'm taking it, just for the lols. Even though we've been on that road a few times now, uh, but yeah, it would just do it justice. Or maybe I shouldn't take it, just to spite it. <laughs> you wouldn't give me a delivery from there, so tough. 
Otherwise, uh, Netherlands. It'll yeah be Spain, Luxembourg, or Netherlands would be our three best options, I think. Keep left. And Spain is big enough that we're bound to get something, even if it isn't Barcelona specifically. That would be the closest city, I'm fairly sure. But if we have to stretch a little bit further, then so be it. Ironically, probably like the south of the UK would also be close because I could drive to Bilbao and then take a ferry up to Plymouth. <laughs> that would be funny. We could also do the classic of stretching out and doing like a super long delivery to finish off. Like go from Geneva to Finland or Turkey or something if we really wanted to. But I'm feeling that I've already had to do enough... Okay, I want to cut through the services. I've already had to do enough long deliveries in this challenge that I really don't feel obliged to do a long delivery to finish. <laughs> like Normally I do that because I've been taking super short deliveries most of the rest of the way. Not so this time. I mean, we started from Prague, we've since then had to go to Verona, to um, Bratislava, from Ljubljana, well, Nova Mosto actually. Keep right. So Keep we've right. done our time <laughs> in terms of long deliveries. But right. we'll see what's available. Maybe there'll be something amusing that catches my interest. What I really feel is that maybe instead of focusing on the different countries, they could have focused on different companies within Switzerland. Because I haven't had to explore much of the different parts of the country. Like, realistically, I could have finished this event just doing deliveries to and from Zurich and never gone further afield. The only reason I ended up in Bern and am going to Geneva is because I have made the conscious choice to do so. Nothing about the event itself has forced me to do so, because there has always been deliveries to Zurich. So I feel the focus should probably have been on doing deliveries to or from 10 different companies based in Switzerland. <laughs> Because they're all separate, like, identifiers in the background. They, sh they should know and be able to track which ones are duplicates. And I think that would have been a much better showcase of the overall region. Because it's a case of, oh, well, okay, I can't go back there because I've already done a delivery to that company. Like, I'd still have been able to tick off five of them within Zurich, but I would have had to go further afield eventually. And then you could push it out so it's not even just 10. Keep left. 20 different companies within Switzerland. Probably not much more than 20, to be honest. And just have the 200k uh, minimum limit, so you can't just go within the city. You have to go at least like from Geneva to Zurich, and that would be fine. But hey, make it a 300km limit. Then I wouldn't be able to do a domestic delivery. I'd have to go outside the borders, just by virtue of that I don't know 
could do better. Um, speaking of, can I get the photo from this angle? Because there's something for me to look at over there. Globe of Science and Innovation. Okay, well I can't see it from here and they don't let me go up high enough. But I'm going to take a picture of it anyway because it's funny. Globe of Science and Innovation? Yeah, the sun? You mean the sun? <laughs> That's that's my globe of science and innovation right there. We have technically taken a picture of it. I doubt I can see it any better from here either. I do need to go on that road. Uh, hopefully I'll get a delivery that takes me on that road anyway. And I'll get a better shot. But that amuses me that you can take a picture if you're just looking in the vague general direction of the object. I can see it more from up here somewhere. Where was the the globe of science and innovation again? That was way off more to the north, so I guess it's over that side. The other side of those buildings there. So I can't see any better from here. This is a long shot. Weird that it didn't just have me go down to the end and then turn left and then left instead it had me go around and then turn right. Odd. Oh well, whatever. Got there in the end. Really tight corner in here though. Where do you need it? You know. Yeah. All right. Now, will this count? <laughs> here's the here's the test of their code. Zurich, Geneva. Excellent. And no, it didn't. Okay. They they coded things properly. It recognised that Switzerland was in Switzerland. It wasn't just a different country. That's fine. That was expected. 